A third answer to the question, what is the church for? What is its created purpose? Would be the charismatic answer in which the most important thing would be the correct use of the gifts. This is what I might call loosely the charismatic gospel. Now these churches, which to be fair, isn't all charismatic churches, but these churches would understand that the primary mission of the church is to exercise the gifts of the spirit. And that the most important things in church is tongues and prophecy. That's what we're here to do. And They'll call this the full gospel. Yeah, 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 you accept Jesus and all that other kind of stuff. You're technically saved, but you're missing out. If you want the full gospel, if you want the main thing, not just the appetizer, what you need is to experience the gifts of the Holy Spirit. And that's what salvation is about. Salvation isn't just about, oh, I'm not going to hell anymore. No, no, no. Salvation is about you experiencing the power of God. Salvation is about you experiencing and using those gifts. But to be fair, once again, when we read our Gospels, Jesus does certainly promise the Holy Spirit, but is the primary focus of Jesus' teaching to acquire spiritual gifts? It's the primary gist of Jesus' message, the proper exercise or the abundant exercise of spiritual gifts. Is that what the gospel message is about? And oddly enough, why do these churches have a hard time growing as well? I've seen lots and lots of these churches. Very rarely do they fit into that 4%. Usually, they're just with everybody else in plateau and decline. And some of them, they might grow by peeling people out of other churches. But very, very rarely do they reach their communities with the gospel. Why is that?